fall is one of the best times of year for pasture management. So for those of you that have chickens and horses, cattle, goats, or sheep, this is a great time of year, not only to work on maintaining the pasture itself, but also your pasture edges. Let me show you a few plants that are incredible to plant along your edges of the pasture. Let's take a look at some of the new ones that we just put in the ground. Papaya leaves and fruit can be enjoyed by most animals, especially cattle and chickens. One of the enzymes that come with the papaya fruit actually helps increase the protein content uh, in cattle who are feeding, but it's also a great natural dewormer for chickens and poultry. I also like to do a lot of native wildflowers because these will attract pollinators that will help control a lot of the bad insects, which can have a negative effect on the pastures. This one specifically is tropical sage. This is a baby mango tree. One of my favorites is the ice cream mango. It's a semi-dwarf. The leaves can be enjoyed by cattle, by horses, by goats, but even the fruit can be enjoyed by cattle. In fact, they'll even eat the seeds. Here's a little baby guava. This is a cat lake guava. You could also use Ruby Supreme or Pink Barbie. The leaves on the guava plant are great for the digestive system of cattle, of horses, of goats. Uh, in fact, in humans, the tea is actually used worldwide as an anti-diarrheal. Pineapple plants can be put along the edges of pastures in order to help keep the cattle inside. Yes, they will enjoy the fruit occasionally, but mostly it's a way to reinforce your fence. Ouch. The Moringa tree is one of my absolute favorites along the edges of pastures because it has B vitamins, proteins, a lot of minerals. You can let it grow over top of the fences, put it in the middle of the pasture if you want uh, to provide shade. Every part of this tree is edible and medicinal, both for cattle, livestock, and for humans. Uh, it will help increase the mineral content for your cattle, even poultry, uh, and it even has calcium to help improve milk or eggshells. Now, obviously this is a great time of year to be improving the pastures themselves. So you could be adding in things like clover, winter wheat, rye, black oats. All of those things are great additions to a pasture to help increase the biodiversity of your pastures. So hopefully this helps you out with your pasture improvement plan for the fall. Enjoy, happy planting y'all.